Hi everyone, I hope everyone's doing well. So I lied. I said my last video was going to be my last upload from Spain, but in fact, as I was packing up, I realized that it might be really fun to do a what's in my travel bag kind of video. So I have one more. Sorry. Um, so I have a few cases of things here. When I say cases, I mean like small little bags like this um, full of the things that I bring with me um, in my carry-on when I don't have a checked bag. Um, so these are just the things that I will use kind of every day um, and I find necessary for a trip. Um, so as some of you know, I'm going on a two-week vacation with my boyfriend starting on Sunday um, to a few cities in Europe and I'm really excited but of course I need to have my makeup and my skincare because I don't know, I just do. I wish I didn't but I do. So we have a bunch of stuff I'm excited to share with you, so let's get started. We're going to begin with the toiletries, so the general shower things and such. Um, so I have this little bag. Um, I got a Dove set and I used all the stuff up, but I still use the bag because it's nice plastic. It's not crappy. Um, so in here goes um, shampoo and conditioner. So this is the OGX Biotin and Collagen set. I really like these. I think that they really make my hair full and voluminous and shiny and soft, which is, I mean, like what else do you want in a shampoo and conditioner? Um, I have the Tresemme Fresh Start uh, Volumizing Dry Shampoo, which I really love. If I don't have a chance to shower, if I'm traveling, this is a really nice pick-me-up for my roots. Um, I'm actually having Matt bring me another one because I'm bound to run out with the amount of traveling on planes that we're doing. Um, I have a Dove body wash. Uh, this is the deeply nourishing one, just average Dove body wash. Um, I have two face washes because I'm extra like that. I have my morning time face wash, which is the clean and clear morning burst. Um, it has the little micro beads in it um, and it wakes me up. I really like the citrus smell, so why not bring it? And then for the nighttime, kind of after I have taken off my makeup, um, I still like to cleanse my face, and for that I'll use the Purity Made Simple from Philosophy. This is a really great product. I mean, I have no complaints about it. I've been using it for a couple of years, and it's never, it's never let me down. So... Next up I have the Daily Beauty Satin Finish Treatment, which is uh, a product I use before and after I blow dry my hair, or sometimes just on damp hair if I'm not going to be blow drying it. I just really, really like the way that this makes my hair feel, smell, act during the day. It's just a really great product. I'm not entirely sure if this exists anywhere besides the little peluqueria that I bought it at <laughs> down the street, but if it does, I will link it below. And last but not least, we have um, the John Frieda Frizzies um, Frizz Immunity Primer. Um, I just kind of use this as another uh, way of keeping my hair tame during the day, especially if I am not going to be blow drying it, which, let's face it, there are some days when I just don't have the energy to blow dry it. Oh my god. Come on. I know you can zip. Oi. I guess this happens when you put too much stuff in one. Uh, anyway, so this is my little toiletries bag. This is the one that they're going to check at TSA and be like, is everything three ounces or less? And the answer will be yes, it is. So next up we have kind of the skincare bag, which I'm going to be using this little Ipsy bag here. Um, this was a really great thing that I ended up getting one time in an Ipsy box. And I only did Ipsy for like two or three months, but all the times I did it, I really liked the little pouches that everything came in. Um, so the first thing I have are these clean and clear oil absorbing sheets. Um, it says portable, like obviously it's portable, it's tiny. Um, I really like these. Um, I never used to have oily skin, but I used to buy these anyway just in case I had oily skin. Now I actually do have some oil issues in my T-zone and this just comes so in handy if I don't want to be carrying around powder and a brush everywhere I go. So that's going in. Um, next up we have the Clinique uh, Custom Repair Serum, which I use at night and in the morning. Um, I really like this serum. It, it's Smart Serum, which I mean I didn't understand what that meant until I started using it, but what I realized is that it actually kind of targets the things that you need targeted and not other things. I've tried other serums that are meant for specifically moisturizing or specifically anti-wrinkle or whatever and they don't seem to address any other issues on my face. This attacks my dry patches, it brings down the oil, it just is a really really good serum so I'm a huge fan of it. Um, next up we have the oh, the La Roche-Posay Effaclar um, which is a targeted imperfection corrector. I mean that's a pretty simple name for it. It's exactly what it is. Um, I have a clean and clear one of these as well, but I find that this one is a little more heavy duty uh, for things like that guy um, when I don't want them on my face anymore. It basically works overnight. Give it a shot. 
So next up we have the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. Um, and I really like this uh, for freshening my face up in the morning or on a day where I'm not wearing any makeup. It just kind of gives me life, smells amazing, and um, keeps my skin at a good balanced level between dry and oily and just kind of makes it really good skin. Um, next up we have the Elf Daily the Elf Daily Hydration Moisturizer, which I actually use more at night because I have a different product that I use um, before I put on makeup, but this is a really good moisturizer. It's not that expensive. I mean, I've tried really expensive uh, moisturizers and this is the same. It does the same, so why am I going to spend 50, 60 bucks on a little pot when this A has a pump and B works just as well. And last but not least, I have something that I just picked up today, which I'm super excited about. Um, this is the mini size of the MAC Fix Plus, and this is in the lavender smell. I have no idea why I didn't know that they came in smells sooner. I have the full size of just the regular uh, fragrance free fix plus, but this is great for traveling. It's only one fluid ounce and obviously that's going to last you because you use like a couple sprays and you're good. Um, so I'm really excited that I picked this up. And so that is the little skincare pouch, which molds to look just less cute when all the stuff's in it. but. Uh, it still clasps. Um, so last but not least, we have all the uh, makeup and then the extra little things that I bring with me. So for my makeup, I have this Betsy Johnson case that I got at TJ Maxx, I think, a couple of years back. I really like it. I like the, the flowers and I don't know, it's just pretty. So these are the makeup essentials that I find are the things I want when I'm traveling, need when I'm traveling, and a couple of other just like just in cases, mostly in the lipstick department. So the first thing I have is the e.l.f. Mad for Matte eyeshadow palette, which I think I've talked about on my channel before. It's just got really every color you need for an eye look, and it's small. So that is why I'm bringing it with me. I have the NARS Orgasm Blush, which is a product that speaks for itself. Um, it's a beautiful color, goes with almost every outfit I'm going to wear, always works with my hair color and my skin tone. Next up we have the MAC Next to Nothing Pressed Powder in the shade Medium Plus, which I use as a bronzer because it is darker than my skin tone. Not by much, honestly, but I don't like an intense bronze, so it works really well for me. Um, this is like the biggest thing I'm bringing with me, and I had to fight myself not to put that in my checked bag for when I go home. <laughs> so next up we have the NYX Angel Veil Primer, which is oil-free. I love this stuff. I actually picked up a new one today because the one I had was separating because I think I've had it for a little too long. Um, and it's plastic, so it makes it um, very travel-friendly. My favorite primer in the world, the Becca uh, First Light Priming Filter, the purple one. Um, it's in a glass bottle. I do not want to risk that breaking everywhere in my makeup bag. A, I wouldn't have it anymore, and B, everything else would be disgusting. Um, so I just think this was a much better idea. Um, and another primer just for um, more specific target areas is the Benefit Professional, which I just kind of put in here and on a little bit on my chin. Um, I don't put this all over my face, which is why I'm good with the Teensy one. So next up I have um, the MAC Strobe Cream, which is going to fill as my highlighter for this trip because I'm not a blinding highlight fan, I'm just like a little bit on the high points of my face, which is exactly what a strobe cream is for, and MAC has the OG, so I got this nice little travel size um, when I was picking up the Fix Plus. Another thing I got on that trip was the oil control lotion from MAC, which is really, really nice stuff. Um, when I said I used a different moisturizer in the morning, this is what I was talking about because it actually does control my oil, which is great because I've been needing that effect in a moisturizer recently and didn't have the right moisturizer for it. So I'm giving the small one a shot before I go and buy the big one, but I'm in two weeks testing it out. I think that'll be enough to know. So I have that. And then I have um, the travel size of the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, which is my favorite powder on the market, and I'm really glad that I have the travel size. Um, next up I have a concealer, which is the MAC Prep and Prime uh, Highlighter in Medium Plus, which is a, a twist up one, kind of like the Touche Claw. I will use this under my eyes, I will use it on blemishes, it works for everything, it works great, and I love it. Um, and next up, last for makeup, I have two options for foundation, one with SPF, one without. So I have the Chanel Vital Lumiere Aqua, which has SPF 15, which means this is the one I will wear in the daytime. And then I have the MAC uh, Face and Body Foundation, which is my favorite foundation in the world, but it has no SPF, so I only wear this at night or if I'm not 
going to be going out into the sun in the daytime. Um, they're very similar finishes, so it's not like I'm bringing hella choices with me, but um, they're my two favorite foundations, so I didn't really want to go anywhere without either of them. And they're both plastic, which means they were kind of saying like, hey, travel with us. So I did. So those are the things that go in my makeup bag. I mean, you guys all know I have a large makeup addiction and a large makeup collection. I did actually get rid of quite a few things when I was packing to leave Spain, so I don't have as much as I came with, surprisingly, because I did buy stuff here. Um, but I also know how to pare down when necessary, which means that this trip is not going to be me and all my makeup, because that drives my boyfriend crazy and I just don't want to deal with it. Um, okay, so for lip products, which I'm actually also going to put in this bag because there's room, um, they're basically all, like, in the same family of not over-the-top lip colors except for one. Um, but these are the things that I'm bringing with me on this particular trip. Again, lip color always depends on the season, where I'm going, who I'm going with. So most of these are very kissable lip products because I'm going with Bay. <laughs> so the first one I have is the Body Shop um, Matte Liquid Lip in Windsor Rose. I really love this color. It's just a great liquid lip that actually does dry down very well but is kiss-proof, which is why I'm bringing it. Next up we have the Butter London Gloss in Coconut Frock. Um, this is the stickiest lip gloss I own, but I love the smell and the color is so nice. So I'm bringing it with me. I'm probably just going to put it on top of something else or just like a little bit on when I go out, but it's just such a nice smell. I don't want to travel without it. Um, so next up we have the Lancome Juicy Shaker in Piece of Cake, which I really like because it adds a little bit of oil back into my lips. It's not going to like ruin Matt's life if I kiss him and I'm wearing it, um, and it's a really nice kind of tint to the lips, so I like that one. Um, next up we have the NARS Velvet Lip Glide in Bound, um, and this is a super mini one that I got for a, a VIB thing at uh, Sephora, but I really like the color, and it's kind of the only one with like a true pink, pink hue, so I figured I'd bring something in that family. Um, next up we have the Giorgio Armani, uh, what is this? Rouge Dior Armani Shears, um, and it doesn't have a color, it's 504, <laughs> um, but I really love this. This is my favorite lipstick, and why would I go anywhere without something I spent $38 on, you know what I'm saying? Um, so next we have the Buxom Gloss in Dolly, which is my favorite gloss in the world. Um, why would I go anywhere without this? It's great, it's not sticky, it makes my lips feel all minty and tingly, and it's a good color for me. And lastly, I have what I'm wearing on my lips right now, and that is the Sephora Rouge Lip Tint in Brown Tint, but it definitely doesn't look brown to me. Does this look brown to you? Because I think this looks very red. Um, but anyway, this is like the only like color that I brought, and that's only because you can see nothing comes off. Um, it's completely kiss-proof and cute, so if I wanted to wear a red lip, I have an option. So those are the lip products that I'm bringing with me. Those all in there. Zip this bad boy up. And we'll go on to the last little carrying case that I have. And that one is this one from Mango, which I really like. I actually just picked it up the other day. And this has all my tools and eye-related things. So I have my tan beauty blender, which obviously I'm not going to go anywhere without. I have a travel size of the Benefit Roller Lash, which is my favorite mascara. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I have the Smashbox Brow Tech To Go in taupe which is my favorite brow product at the moment, and I didn't feel like I needed to bring more than one. Please pray this doesn't break. And then lastly, I have eh, some tweezers, because you don't go anywhere without tweezers when you have eyebrows. You know what I'm saying? And then I have the brushes that I'm choosing to bring on this trip, and that's three from BH and one from e.l.f. I have the 124, which I use for bronzer. I have the 129, which is my eyeshadow brush, and since... I know I'm going to be doing really simple looks. I'm only bringing one brush that will work in the crease and on the lid. Um, and then I have the 125 for my blush. And then the e.l.f. Uh, Professional Total Face Brush, which I use for powder. Um, I'm not a fan of bringing thousands of brushes everywhere because they just take up so much room and I don't have time to figure out how to pack them. So. This little case is for my tools, and it's really cute, and I don't know, I can probably also use it as a pencil case when I get back to school, so multi-use. And lastly, I have just a few um, little miscellaneous things that I don't know where I'm going to put yet, but of course they're coming with me. So first off, we have the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleansing Cloths, which I will use to take off all of my makeup before I cleanse my face at night. Um, I just really love these. These are the best wipes I've used, and I've used quite a lot of wipes. I also really like the simple ones, but I don't have any here because they don't sell simple in Spain. But um, there's 
10 that come in here, so I'm having Matt bring another one because we're gone for more than 10 days. Um, but I would not go anywhere without these wipes. Um, second in wipes, I have the Summer's Eve Nighttime Cleansing Cloths for Sensitive Skin in the Lavender Scent. And I know this might be like, oh, she's talking about this, but yeah, I'm talking about this. This is a really great product to kind of just keep with you and keep yourself, you know, fresh and cleansed downstairs. Of course, you're showering. Of course, you're living your life in a hygienic way. But if you're traveling and you kind of just need a little pH pick-me-up, um, these are a really great way to do that. So I'm a really huge fan of these. I also have tried them in other scents and the daytime ones, but I just find that these are the most uh, easy to travel with. So I'm bringing them with me. Next up, I have my toothbrush, which is not in here yet, but this is the holder that I use. Super exciting, I know, very glamorous. Um, I have an extra razor blade, which I'm not yet sure if I'm going to be able to bring with me, but after I check the TSA, TSA, the TSA guidelines for my airlines, I will uh, let you know, but I hope I can bring it because the girl doesn't want to have hairy armpits on this trip. Um, I have Crushed Complete Toothpaste. It's just toothpaste. It's not my favorite. It's not my least favorite. It's toothpaste. Um, and last but not least, um, I have this really broken, so I'm being careful with it. Um, and Light Super Face Secret Service Lip Nourishing Serum, which I love, love, love. Um, ever since I started using this, it's been a staple. I use it every night. It adds just so much moisture and so much plumpness to my lips, and I wake up with happy lips instead of dry, crackly lips, which I have seen way too many times in my day. Um, so yeah, it's this keeps popping off, so I'm not really sure where I'm going to put it, but We'll find a place because it's got to come with me. Um, and oh, I don't have it in here, but I'm always traveling with a little pot of Aquaphor or a tube because I tend to use that as a lip balm. Um, I like it a lot better than Chapstick or Blistex or anything else like that. I just feel like it um, really like sucks in the moisture and locks it into your lips because if it's supposed to keep your tattoos from cracking, like why wouldn't it work for your lips, you know? Y'all should try it. Um, so anyway, that's it for my travel necessities in the skincare and makeup department. I hope everyone has a really nice start to their summer. I think I said that last time. And next time I see you will be from the United States. Adios.